Okay guys, so I want to introduce you guys to a game that I think is extremely fun. We play it every single day. Um, it started off because we started playing it in basketball. And then we said, you know what? You could probably play this ga same game with skating. So it's called 8-Up. Originally it was called 7-Up, but in honor of Kobe, we decided to change it to 8-Up. So the basic premise is you pick a spot to shoot from. We'll show you basketball first and then we'll play it uh, in skate. Pick a spot to shoot from. One person shoots, they make it. Next person shoots, they make it. And every time a shot goes in, that's one point on the board. So say three people make it back to back. That means there's three points on the board. The fourth person comes and misses. That means they collect those three points and, the, and it goes back to zero on the board. <laughs> so I shoot, I score, one point on the board. Okay, so Manny made it, two points on the board. Three points on the board. Oh. So now Manny has three points. Whoever gets to eight first is out. One on the board. Two on the board. Three on the board. Nope. Ooh. Four on the board. Should've so if I no. miss this, I get four points and now Manny jumps in the lead. But you know that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. History, might, history might repeat <laughs> itself. Looking like a similar okay. story. So looking like board. a similar story, Steven. Two on the board. Oh. Now he has five. One. Two on the board. Three on the board. Four on the board, so if I miss, I'm out. And if Manny, if I make it and Manny misses, he's out. So we're in a shootout right now. First person to miss, yeah, loses. this is a uh, sudden death. <clears throat> Five on the board. No! So it's a really fun game because it builds up pressure and it gets you all nervous. It does. And it just makes it fun. So now we're gonna play it for skateboarding which is also really incredibly fun. And I think the best thing about this game, I'm not worried about trying to win the game or beat the person. I'm mainly looking at it as a fun way to practice tricks that I need help with, that I need to work on. So it just makes it so that you practice and you do repetition without it being really boring. You can have like a little competition with your friend. You can play with three, four, five friends, however many you want. Except in skating, if you're playing with two people and you guys do the trick 10 in a row, then you beat the game and move on to the next trick. But if you have three people, you have to make it to 15, and you beat the game, move on. So basically, as long as everyone does five in a row each, you beat the game, move on to the next trick. And uh, it's really fun, so let's just show you. Manny, give me a, give me a trick. Let's, something that, that you really wanna work on for flat ground, something that like we're not gonna just do in a row so we can like really work on something. Switch front heel. Let's do it. With this game, you don't have to do the same trick as your friend. Um, like say you want to work on hard flips and your friend wants to work on barrel heels. You guys, you could do hard flips and your friend could do barrel heels and you can still challenge each other that way. And you can play on any obstacle, flat bar, ledge, stairs, whatever. And you can even play like your friends on the flat bar but you're skating the hip or something like that. Yeah. And you guys just, it, the idea is just to make yourself have repetition. And it's just a really fun way to practice without it being so monotonous. So. Yeah, and in the basketball or, game, typically, right, you get out at eight if you have eight, but in this, once we both reach a total number of 10, then we switch the trick up. That means we both yeah. won, and that means we move on. But if you get eight points, you're still out, and then you move on also. Yeah, and if there's three people, it's up to 15. If there's 20, 20, I mean four, there's 20, and then yeah. I already, I already explained this. Okay. Did we? No, I didn't. I already explained this. Don't worry, don't worry guys. Get a little slow. I was not here. One on the board. Oh, that felt all right. A power slot. Oh, one. One on the board. Two on the board. 
Okay. Two for Manny. Yep. One. Two. Three. Oh, that four. One, that one felt pretty good. Five. So you had two already? Yeah, seven. No. So seven? Seven, yeah. Or you had three. Was it two? No, no, it was two. It was two. Uh, so you have seven. Seven, yeah. One on the board. Okay. Eight. Good game. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jeez. So as you can see, we did a lot of switch front heels. It was good practice. <laughs> And now we're gonna go pick another trick. Do that trick. Uh, what do you think about? Um, the switch flip the gap. But you want to do it down the gap? Yeah, just okay, a good switch flip. We're gonna do switch flip the gap. So the rule of the game, the way we play, is whoever calls it installs it. Ooh. So if he called the trick, he has to go first. Handy Manny installment. One on the board. <laughs> oh, one for me. You guys know that does that that does not happen to him. It's the pressure. Apparently it does. One on the board. Two on See? the board. Told you it was a fluke. Three on the board. <laughs> Whoa! Four on the board! <laughs> Five on the board. Six, Ooh, six on the bow, baby. Oh, seven. Ooh, seven on the board. So I can't miss this or I'm out. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. So right there, we beat the game. You guys move on to the next trick. You know, if you want to. Do two you different obstacles. You can literally play this trick all day long on any obstacle with your friends. You can even do like lines, you know, true, true. if you want. It's, it's up to you, take it where you want, but we just want to show you the game because we have a lot of fun playing it every day. Yeah. I hope you and your friends have lots of fun playing it too. Okay, bye now. <laughs>